Alright guys, welcome back to ADB Fishing. Today I'm out again with Matty. We're targeting some targeting some bass on the estuary. Uh, we've got peeler crab. Uh, we're fishing the tide going out now, aren't we? Yeah? yeah, tide's going out. Yeah, so we're gonna be fishing the tide down and we're gonna fish at low tide as well. So hopefully we'll have a fish for you today because at the moment I'm on a blanking street. So stay tuned guys, it's ADB Fishing. He's just had a knock here. Just trying to get it on camera, see if you can see the knock. Here we go, struck into it. So you've been playing with it? Yeah, I think we've had a bite, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit demolished, isn't it? Get it rebated and cast back out. No bites on mine yet, I don't think, guys, but stay tuned. Hopefully in the next clip we'll have a fish for you. Crab on. crab on. First catch of a crab. A crab on crab. <laughs> Hopefully the wind isn't too bad for you, eh? But um, we oh, there we go. Baits for fishing. It's just crab, just peeler crab like that. Now, Matty's fishing quite small peeler crab baits, and I've sort of gone for a large one on the top and a medium sized one at the bottom. Um, all you've got to do really is just you peel the one crab, take all the legs and claws off, peel the shell off, and then you can just put the body on, leave all the guts in, and everything like that. And then when you've got an old one, you can see the old scraggly one at the top. I just like to get my bait elastic and I'll just try and mould it back on. So forget my bait elastic out. And you try and make it into just a simple sausage. Some people also like to hide the hook when they're fishing as well, but when I make mine anyway, I like to have the hook point nice and prominent. Word of the day is prominent. It's so just like that. I've made a better bait out of that. Two crabs on one. Perfect little hook point showing there. Hopefully, that's enough. We've already had a couple knocks actually, so the bass are in. We're just hoping that one of them takes it enough. It's kind of hard to see with the wind. And I might be shouting to the camera. I don't know what the wind noise is like for you guys. But, um,. With the wind, I'm angling my rods, so it's kind of the rod point is facing where the wind's going. So hopefully that's enough that I'll be able to see it by. And I have got my drag set loose, so if the sun does run, it can just go, and it will just rip my rod out. So 
Matt is just going to run through how he likes to beat up his crabs. Let's pull the legs off here. Keep the legs. Put a spoon on each side here. Then. Pop the top off. Make sure you get these spoons off here. Down to the bottom. These have been soaking in water as well, so it makes it a little bit easier to get these off. A pinch at the legs here. Pull away. Just in case the bass tastes any of them. Spit it out. So guys, at the moment, where we were, was a little further down there, and all we're doing is, I don't know how, I've got the sun behind me so I can't exactly see on the camera, but we're fishing the gullies as it's coming out, and right in front of us now, we've got a lovely big gully, if I turn around, we've got a gully just behind me, I think you can see the change in the water there, you can see a darker water here, and a, a, a lighter water there, water there. And all we're doing, if we get Matty on the camera casting now. There we go, what a cast. But all we're doing now, Matty just had a great knock, like a proper hard knock on it. And we've had three knocks now, isn't it? Three, I think. Yeah, yeah, three knocks we've had so far. And I'm betting we'll get it on low tide. So hopefully, hopefully now we've got a better chance of catching the fish. So fresh baits on, lines in the water. All we can do now is wait. I don't think I really explained earlier guys, but the reason we're fishing this mark today, um, where we were earlier, up on the, just turn around, up over there, we fished the high tide there, because um, Matty caught a little schoolie there. Where, when was that? Wednesday. Wednesday he caught a little schoolie there, then when it got to low tide like it is now, we came down here where we are, and he caught a four, four, and, a half. four and a half pound bass it was. Um, I'll put in a picture of that now. You can see the exact place we are in the clip is exactly where he caught this bass and it was pretty much the same tide conditions and weather conditions it was just a bit gusty on that day and where we were fishing earlier you can see Matty caught this schooly bass that we mentioned. Now high tide to low tide this was caught where we were fishing at this clip and this was also caught at that clip. And then we're just trying it because we have had three knocks and Matty had a really good knock earlier like when we were up on there so it's low tide now he got that big bass as the tide was coming back in so hopefully when the turn comes that's when we'll start catching a bass so we'll see what happens fresh baits on and everything we're hopeful still hopeful so so guys we're at the end of the session unfortunately no fish today we did get uh four bites wasn't it four yeah four bites One got point. I got one at the end, really good one, it's proper hard take, but we're probably going to try and fish it low tide up next time, uh, see how that goes, because we start getting more bites as it came up, so 
Thank you guys for watching. Sorry there was no fish. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, just put it down below. I, I tried to reply to all of them, so thank you guys. Said you'd be fishing.